Okay, we're going to make our fourth and final card with this kit. Then we'll move on to our 3D items. So this is the little parrot card. And again, if you don't want to do the parrot, you can use this to do whichever image you want. You could do the parrot or the lion or the koala. They're all made to hold those little balloons. So I'm going to get my pad again because it's that bold image. Ink him up. And maybe because it's my first time using it since I've cleaned it. Oh, he turned out really nice there, actually. But still, better safe than sorry. So I need a little parrot. I need a balloon. Now, this time since I'm doing three balloons, I'm actually, I'm going to do it differently. Instead of putting the balloon on here, you'll see. Let me stamp my hat, though. And I would stamp my balloon first, but the thing about the red is it's, as you can see, my thing is stained red because the red just really stays in your, really sticks. And even when you clean it and the color comes out, you're your images will get stained, just know that. So I just wanna start with my lightest color first though, because I wanna make sure there's no red in it, because I've had that problem. So I'm gonna to go to my base card. And this one was, these are the note cards and envelopes you can get from Stampin' Up! and they're already cut for you. So, my next step, if I was you, would be to color the beak and then cut out your parrot. Or if you don't want to do that, you can stamp your parrot right on your card. I, of course, already die cut a parrot to save time, but you can pause the video right now and go die cut your parrot. And because I would color first, it's sometimes easier than, a, than having this little thing that can move around to color. But since I didn't color before I die cut, I'm going to color now. Now you can use any markers you have, Crayola, any kind you have. I am going to use the Stampin' Blends that match because I have them. I have Bermuda, I'm using the Dark Bermuda, the Dark Mango Melody, and the Dark Poppy. But again, if you don't have these, you'll want to have them. I actually did a blends club before where you collected three combos each month and you do it with six people for six months and each month one of you takes the turn of getting the hostess benefits and I am going to start that again so that's a good way to collect them but anyway if you don't have them now just color it with anything you have and then I'm using him to gauge where I'm going to do my stamping even though I'm going to pop him up so this is the multi-balloon strings haven't used that one yet. I've been using just a single one. So I don't want to stamp on his beak, but I want to see where it's going to be about just so when I stamp, it's where I want it. So there's those balloons. And while I'm stamping all of this, we'll do a multi-balloon pack on the front. My envelope. And then with that yellow, I already, well, I said I was going to stamp and I guess I just stamped on my background. Okay, so now we're going to come back to this yellow. I'm using Mango Melody, which I seem to be using mostly this time around. I used more. Okay, I got that kind of close to this, but it's not going to matter. I'm going to pop that up. So we'll do this one at the same time. I, I scooted that one over a little. Then, since I forgot to clean my cami, using the ever famous, I like to use the Costco wipes because they don't have like a, the chemicals or I don't know, they're supposed to be more natural. Actually, okay, that's all right. I would have left that open just because I'm going to use it again. 
All right, I'm gonna use the red last. Next, I'll use Bermuda Bay. And again, I'm gonna make sure I got all my blue out. And it's looking like it's giving me a good image even without that stamp pad. But I gotta get my head over here to just see for a minute. See on there, it looks a little less Bermuda like it has something else stuck in it. I know I'm mumbling. Okay, <laughs> so there's my blue and my yellow. Oh, I didn't put anything on the inside this time. You are welcome, of course, to add balloons on the inside. I'm just going for the sake of time to not do that, but of course you can dress it up however you like. And then we're going to clean the yellow off. Try to get all that, or the blue. I just did blue. Now I'll do my red. I've been using Poppy Parade, but you could use real red too. Real red's a little a little more blue and poppy, a little more orange is how I would describe it. Okay, so there's that one. And my other one I'm not going to stamp. Oh, goodness gracious, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. This has a second layer on it. So I know harm done, except that I've done all those balloons. I guess this card is not going to have a second layer. Um, I'm going to save that for another time. Hopefully I can remember to tell you guys these things before you make them. But yeah, I, yeah. Okay, so you'll stamp your hat and your balloon out. I'll stamp them on that spare paper and then cut them out. And add your, that little extra layer, even though it's still white, they're both white, it just does add something. But that's okay. This is going to be simple stamping with less layers. I love layers. Okay, I'm going to use this Let's Celebrate You stamp. First time I've used it on these videos. But we'll be using it on our next two projects as well. I'm going to stamp it in Bermuda Bay on the front of the card and also on my envelope flap. You can see how much ink I got in my card there. So you want to be careful. I just maybe mashed it too hard. But even so, I was just really careful when I stamped not to rock and get that on. But I will clean it off. All right, so I have a super cute envelope ready to go. Now let's finish adding our confetti or, or whatever this is called. Let's pop up our, well, I'm, like I said, I like to stamp first just in case I hit, sorry, I hit where that dimensional is and it makes it hard for me to stamp. Now this one, I guess I could do, oh, be careful get your whole thing. I don't usually do this, but since it's like a pom-pom, it's not crucial that it be perfect, but wow. Don't go too fast. Hold it steady for a minute so that your pom-poms are not messed up. <laughs> Mine are right now. They're okay. All right, however many you wanna do, I always heard it's good to go off the page so things aren't boxed in, which, would maybe is different if you're using that little front piece. Okay, so I'm a little sad about not doing the inside of my card, guys. I'm gonna just use the other balloon because it's faster and I don't have to do three layers. And I'm going too fast. I miss that. Well, I've got, what color do I have on here? We'll do the same color I used on here last. And I will fix that little string with a marker. I'm not going to try to go over that because I am have no faith that I could line that up. Whereas this little thing, it's not crucial. 
that I line up. All right, there we go. Cute envelope, cute outside. Now we just got to put our parrot and the hat on. One might, one is probably enough, but going an extra measure here. And you want his little beak to be holding where that strand of strings is. It's easier when it's flat. And so <laughs> this hat, I cut with my machine and you can see that it slid and it does not look very good. So I'm gonna throw that one away. This one worked out, but that's actually why sometimes, I don't think, I think that's a little too big. That's why sometimes I just fussy cut that hat, even though I have the dies, because it's fast and I wasn't, I was lazy to not put that, what's that called? Well, you could put painter's tape or washi tape down when you die cut so it won't slide and I didn't do that. So there you go. There's your card. Two versions. You have the supplies to make it with this layer. I just made a mistake and didn't do it that way and didn't feel like starting all over with my balloons. So there you go.